Hey guys, it's Shamise1982. What's up? Welcome back. Um, so, as you can see the title of the video, I'm finally doing a My Natural Hair Skin, ha skin Natural Hair Routine. Um, so this is just products that I use for my natural hair that I do all the time, every week. That's so let me start off first. The products I use um, when I, I wash my co-wash. Um, and what I use is um, the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. Um, and I have a big one because I use a lot of conditioner. Um, and it is a moisturizing conditioner. Um, I've noticed that, like, I've, I've, I'm a product junkie, so I like to try different products. But since I've been using this, my hair has been doing a lot better as far as retaining moisture. Um, so I don't know what's in it, but I used to use Herbal Essence a long time ago. So I usually um, co-wash with that. But then when I know my hair is really, really dirty, I use the shampoo from Herbal Essence. So I do do that. Um, and then once I, I do detangle in the shower as well when I have the conditioner So this is the comb that I use when I detangle. Um, it's different than just a regular wide tooth comb It's actually a detangling comb. You can tell the difference by looking at these two um, It's got See there that's the difference here. So it's it pulls through the hair a little bit better um, So I do use this one um, in the shower and I got this on Amazon um, and then this is the white deep tooth conditioning. Only. So I use a couple deep conditioners um, Just depending on what I think I need for my hair. So sometimes I'll just use coconut oil um, I have a big old five gallon tub of it. So I, I just need some like I think I need some repairs I use the k-pack here. I got this at Ulta um, I did a video a long time ago on a product haul that I did for my natural hair and this is the same stuff that I purchased I believe it's usually about $20 each, but I got it on sale, and you can use coupons at Ulta. They have a coupon every week that you can um, print off their website, so keep that in mind when you buy this. And then along with that, when I get out of the shower, I use um, this leave-in protectant, and it's a heat protectant and a leave-in protectant for your hair. So I don't usually um, you know, do any heat with my hair. I usually have it braided up under a wig, but I always put this in there just in case I decide I want to do something or it's that week that I won't decide I want to trim my hair. Other deep conditioner that I use um, is the Garnier Fructis, um Moroccan oil oil treatment. Um, I believe this is like four or five dollars and you can see I don't use very much when I do use it. Um, a little goes a long way and I concentrate mostly on my ends since the ends are like the oldest part of your hair. Um, so I try to get those first and then I work my way up. Um, and I just follow the directions. Um, it's easy as that. And this is the Sleek and Shine um, Rock and Oil. Um, it's supposed to keep your hair from drying and frizzing and keeping it more manageable. And but, then um, I use the three minute, if I just need a quick deep condition, um, I use a three minute nutrition, triple nutrition from Garnier Fructis. Um, it's for dry damaged hair. Um, I just use that because I think it's going to be extra protectant for my hair. Um, I don't know if my hair is dry or damaged, but it's got shea butter and avocado and olive oil. Um, so it says. So that's what I try to use on my hair when I deep condition. Um, so once I'm out of the shower, you see that I put the K-Pack heat protectant, leave-in protectant stuff. It's like a leave-in conditioner slash protectant. But I also spray my hair with damage control from the Aveda Salon. Um, this stuff is all natural. And it's the art what science I also do in my scalp is I use the um, black castor oil, the Jamaican castor oil, and I got this on eBay. And um, it smells really good. Like, not how you think castor oil would smell. But it doesn't have a fragrance. It, like, smells good, but, like, not in a fragrant way, if that makes sense. Um, and I just put it on my on my scalp just to help. I have I had some spots where, where I'm stressed out and my hair sort of fall out a little bit. So I've been using this because um, I heard it works. So put that on my scalp. So since I braid my hair up a lot to wear under wigs, what I do is I use this mixture. It's not. It's just in this this thing here. I, it's not actually Cantu shea butter, um, but it is a mixture of shea butter and coconut oil and um, something else, olive oil, and a little bit of leftover Cantu because it was in the bottle. But it's my way. You can see there's like there's hair in there too, but there's little chunks of shea butter in there. Yeah, that's really what I do, and I concentrate on the ends, and then I put it on the rest of my hair, and then I just braid it up, 
and then I tie my hair back in a bun once I have it braided and that's what goes under my wigs. Um, to do this process, um, so I did a blowout tutorial um, on how I blow out my hair technically. Um, so like I said, I braid my hair up that's under my wigs. Well, when I do that, I unbraid my hair when I feel like I'm going to straighten it and um, I comb it out with my wide tooth comb. There's a video for that um, I have on my channel. I'll link it here below and I'll link it here in the video um, for you guys to see um, if you haven't seen it already. And then once that happens, I just, um, so I have all the product in my hair. Like I have the Cantu Shea Butter stuff mixture that I already have in my hair. It stays in my hair. Like I haven't put any product in my hair and you can tell that there's some kind of moisturizer in my hair. So I use that um, that's already in there to straighten my hair and I only do a couple passes and then once it's combed out, that blown out method that I use, and then I use my flat iron and I straighten it and that's how I do it. Um, I use my cutting shears here and I do own them. I got these at the dollar store two years ago. I know I did a heat damage video where I did not use these. It's because I couldn't find them because Eric uses them too and he misplaces them sometimes. Um, but I use these to cut my, trim my hair because I trim my own hair. You can see here the ends are trimmed. Um, and then I style it, which is what I did. And I used to use a curling iron to do this. Um, but I have my hair cut in layers, as you can see. So that is it. Um, if you have any questions, these are the main products that I use. I said I'm a product junkie, so I'm always um, interested in trying new products that come out. So if you have any recommendations or products that you want to see me try, that we have similar curl patterns or hair, then let me know. Because um, I have a Carol Donner's product that I've been wanting to try. It's a deep conditioner, but I haven't tried it yet because... I have so many other stuff that I want to do. So anyways, I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about the products, let me know. Most of these are very affordable, under $20 if not under $5. Um, I'm a cheapo in a way and I like to use coupons so most of the stuff that is expensive, that regular price is expensive, I probably had a coupon when I bought it so and it turned out really good. So. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in another video. Thank you again for watching. See you later. Bye.